Hi, I'm Johnny from Square. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to physically connect your ethernet printer in the kitchen and how to send a test print to make sure that everything's connected. So let's go ahead and start with the infrastructure. I always like to start with the ethernet and the network. Depending on if you have a receptacle in your kitchen or if you're going directly into your Wi-Fi router, the one thing to make sure of is that you wanna make sure that everything is connected over the same network. Not the guest network at the restaurant, not the neighbor's Wi-Fi. It has to all be the same network so that the points of sales can speak with the kitchen printers. Now I'm gonna insert the power cable. For those with larger hands, it takes a little patience. You just gotta wiggle it in there. It can be a little tricky. Then before I set it down flat, I work the cords out the little groove on the side to be sure that the printer lays nice and flat. So now we're ready to insert our consumables. So let's start with the ink. I can pop open the forward hatch like so. And then for the ink, the little ink adjuster knob should be at the top right. We're going to set it in the little metal tray and make sure that the ink goes over the front of that black plastic pneumatic piston. Then we close the hatch. Now to insert the paper, we open up the paper hatch. No need to thread it. You just put it right into the body of the printer, close it on top, then we'll power it on. It'll take a few moments to power on and to initialize over the network, but now we can go ahead and get this connected to the point of sales and send a test print. Now, from your point of sale device, navigate to more at the bottom right, then select settings. On the left, you'll select hardware, and then we'll scroll down to the printer settings. Inside of this screen will be every printer that is currently connected in over your network. We select the printer. Now, if a lot of them look like they're similar, you can easily differentiate between printers by selecting the print test tool. I can hear it in the kitchen, so this is the right one. So now I'm going to rename this printer something that makes a little bit more sense that rather than this printer model name. So I'm going to call this one hot food, then save. Then the last step, we got to assign the printer profile. So select assign to the right of printer profile, select the hot food printer profile that we created in the dashboard, and then click save. Everything's connected. We're ready to send orders. If you need any more help, go to square.com help. Thank you so much for watching.